Well, today's video is sponsored by B&M Fence out of Hawthorne, Florida. We really appreciate the donation of 3,000 feet of barbed wire on the top of our fence, plus the labor and equipment it took to install it. Thank you for that generous donation. It made a huge difference in our deer fence. It added about nine inches or approximately a foot of height to our deer fence, which is, you know, pretty important. So we thank you for that donation. Thank you for your sponsorship and thank you for the good job you did on our fence. We look forward to working with you in the very near future. See you soon. Well, if we're gonna ever hope to have anything out of our garden, we have got to get a deer fence. We'll be right back. We'll talk about our fencing. This video is our garden deer fence. Well, welcome back. It's time to get this deer fence and get, and, uh, get it started. And um, uh, as usual, everything around here starts with a chainsaw. And as you can see, there's a, a couple of large trees right there that the termites have just destroyed. Uh, we have a real big termite problem here in Florida. So uh, termites can get a hold of your trees before you even know it. And the next thing you know, you got dead standing trees. So here's a couple of trees. I'm gonna have to get them out and I've got several of them going down around the perimeter of the garden that are leaning out toward the garden and I'm gonna have to cut them down because if they give up and fall the rest of the way, they're gonna take out my brand new fence just like it did at the uh, chicken yard. So I got some chainsaw work to do and uh, get that done and then we'll get the uh, B&M fence guys in here to, to hook up me with a brand new uh, deer fence, at least eight feet. So uh, let's get the let's uh, take a ride around. And let me show you the uh, perimeter of what we're going to uh, capture inside the fence. Just check it out. Well, we're going to start. A, uh, this is the the east side of the I mean the uh, west side of the garden right here. We're going to have a fence line that goes from here all the way down the edge of this container garden, all the way down to that other stake I got down there. And we'll have the first piece of fence here. Then it'll go right across this way and we'll put a gate across our little road that serves the uh, container garden. So uh, we're gonna end up with a total of three gates, all 10 foot gates, so I can get my truck and trailer through there if I have to. We'll have one gate here at, at this end of the container garden and one at the other end. And then we'll have another one way down there at the other end, uh, at the other end of the, um, the, the uh, orchard. So three gates, lots of fencing. Let's go check out the back side. Well, this is the north side of the garden. This is where we're gonna have a uh, fence line that runs from that post all the way down to the end down there uh, by that tree line down there before we turn right. So this is a long straight run. We're gonna have our other gate right here so I can have access into the earth garden and the container garden. Um, have a 10 foot gate in this area right here. So this is quite a long run right here, but it's at least it's straight. That makes it easy to put in. This is the east side of the garden. Uh, fence is gonna go all the way down parallel to this road right here our perimeter road. So it'll go all the way down to that tree line down there. And inside this area right here is where I finally decided on putting the chicken tractors. I was gonna to try to put them in with the orchard, but it was, it was a little bit too much to do in there. I couldn't maintain the trees and everything as easily as I wanted to. So I decided to dedicate this big grassy area right here to uh, two chicken tractors. So the fence will capture this area to help me with predators bothering my little chickens at night. So this is um, this area will be captured in the, in the new fence and it's dedicated to chicken tractors. This is the south end of the garden complex. We're gonna run the fence all the way down this edge right here and it'll capture in the watermelon patch it got, got in the uh, chicken tractor run and uh, the, the little tree or orchard right here for the fruit trees and everything that way. So this south line right here goes all the way up there to the clay road up by the uh, burn pit. And then it ties back into that east side with another gate. We're gonna have a gate right here 
on this little road right here. So when I come in to serve the trees or work in the watermelon patch, I have an access that's easy to get to. So that's three, three gates I can work with and make it quite easy to do. So I'm looking forward to getting this job done. It's been a long time coming. I am dreading getting them trees down cause it's hot, you know, it's in the hundreds. And um, in Florida, when it gets like that, that's a bad time of the year to be working tree work, but I have to get it done because I got to get the trees down because the fence guy is coming in August. And this is July and uh, I got to get the trees down before August gets here because he's going to put in a fence and I also need to get the uh, outdoor seed starting area completed inside the fence that he's going to put in. So we'll be ready to get started on starting our first seeds uh, for, for the fall planting. So I, down here, I need to start my seeds around the third week of August to get them ready for fall. So I really don't have a whole lot of time to get this done. So that leaves no choice. I need to work some chainsaw work in 100 degree heat. So I'll try to do it early in the morning and just do a little bit each day. And hopefully I can get through this without passing out. So let's get started in getting these trees out and getting them ready for those that beautiful fence to come in and get us one step closer to getting some vegetables. Well, let's get started. Well, it's been a long, hot week on that chainsaw, but um, I've got all the trees that were leaning toward the new fence that, you know, were, th were threatening to the new fence. I got them all chopped out, thrown in the burn pit, and uh, got them burning. So we're getting there. Uh, we'll be back in, uh, I guess we got about another week before the uh, B&M fence folks get here, but uh, we'll do some more updates and actually do some uh, you know some shots of them actually installing the fence so it's a big milestone here for us so we'll be back very soon well things are getting pretty exciting around here on the fence b m fence fellers brad and luke came out yesterday and they set all the corner posts and all the gate posts on the uh on the garden complex so today they'll be back this morning they got a lot going on uh, we'll get some um, some shots of them in action today so every day they come you'll see a big change in the fence on the garden complex so we're very excited and looking forward to this these are some big old fence posts aren't they nice heavy duty um, they got them sunk in the ground quite deep and concreted in and today they'll put the cross bracing on and they'll start running some other pieces of the fence until we get up to the wire. So we're looking forward to it. So let's get started on today's work.
Well, this is the west side of our garden complex, and this is the west fence wall that we put up. It runs all the way up to the from the south all the way to the north corner of our um, of our uh, garden, and. As you can see, it's uh, about nine feet high and it's nice and pretty. Deer gonna have to find them another place to eat. So let's check out the rest of the area. Well, this is our uh, northwest corner of our fence line and the fence runs from the northwest corner, run, um, runs east all the way down to the, the northeast corner. So this is this is that real long run that we were talking about, and it came out beautiful. And uh, at this end of the garden, we've also got um, another gate. It's ten feet wide, nine feet high. Nice gate. So that's plenty good uh, for everything that I need it for out here. Conveniently located where the road comes out of the garden complex right here. Let's go check out the uh, the northeast corner. Well, now we're at the northeast corner, and as you can see, this is the corner uh, that I had to put two 45 degrees bends in the fence so I could make the curve uh, to keep it nice and straight. And it, it runs from the northeast corner all the way down there to the southeast corner. So this is another uh, big hunk of the fence. It came out really good. We have a lot of deer activity at this area as well, so I'm glad we got the fence. Well, this right here is our southeast um, corner fence post, corner post, and it runs, you know, north up there to the northeast corner, and it runs west all the way over there to the uh, area near the burn pit. Uh, this is another uh, important area because right here in this corner is one day I'm going to build a little grow out pen for our um, guinea guinea fowl because I want to get some guineas in here to keep this field pit clean of grasshoppers and bugs. And uh, this also has a, a gate right down here at the, um, where the road where I make access into our um, north orchard over there. So we got another gate. This is the third gate. Same size as the other two. 10 feet wide, nine feet high. Three strands of barbed wire across the top. Keep the bad guys from climbing it. So, very excited about this uh, area of the fence. This is just another area inside the uh, garden complex. We're inside of the uh, enclosure of the fence enclosure and I just wanted to share this little piece with you. You notice these little uh, corner posts I've, I had the B&M guys put in for me. Right here there's three with a crossbar and then there's another uh, uh, corner post right down there which creates a, a rectangle in here 32 feet wide uh, long and uh, 42 feet wide. This is the future home of our strawberries and blueberries. This is going to be a totally enclosed area. I'm going to have a um, a door right here to access in, but it's going to be covered on the top as well as the four sides with uh, with shade cloth that's 30% uh, shade cloth. This way it'll keep um, keep the birds and the squirrels from getting here and eating up the strawberries and the blueberries. But this is on a future video, but uh, we did want to just share with you, you know, we got the uh, corners installed and in place ready to go because I'm always looking for the future. So we're planning ahead, being proactive. So the b and fence guys did a great job of putting that in for me. It's just a matter of time for me to get to it, but I will get to it. Well, the guys at uh, B&M Fence did a great job on our fence. Uh, it's a total of about nine feet tall. And what we elected to go with is the field fencing on the bottom because, you know, the, the wire gets pretty expensive. And this was um, the most economical wire I could get that'll get the job done because about 95% of our problem out here 
our deer. So if I can keep the deer out, I'm pretty much ahead of the game. Um, there's a day coming in the future I'm going to add rabbit wire around the bottom, but I've got to save up for that. But I'm going to add up a three-foot piece of one-by-one one square wire that'll attach right to all of the existing fence and fence posts. So that's a pretty easy installation, but that's for a later date. But what we got is a, a four-foot, two four-foot uh, rolls of um, four feet wide rolls of field fence and it starts out kind of small at the bottom three inches and it graduates up to six inch squares then we inverted the top that goes on the, the roll that goes on top so the two six inch squares match and then we wired the two um, rolls together in the middle and then it goes on up past the top cross member here and it reduces in squ square sizes back down to uh, three inch. Then above that we got three strands of barbed wire three inches apart which gives me another nine inches or so. So we're, the defense right here is about eight foot nine, uh, nine feet if you you know count to the very top of the fence post but basically it's approximately a nine foot high fence. The wire is solid. It, it is not flimsy. It's not it's not loose in any way. It's very tight and very heavy gauge wire. So this is going to last us a good long while. Um, I think it'll get the job done on the deer with no problem. We also got three uh, gates on the, um, the fence line because we have roads that come in and out of the garden complex. And the, every one of these gates are uh, 10 feet wide and nine feet high. They match the same field fencing on the gate. And it's also got the three strands of barbed wire on the top. So that's a good um, gate for everything that I use. I can drive my uh, Kubota in here. I can drag my utility trailer. I can even drive my truck through here if I want to. So it's good and wide for anything that I'm probably gonna be needing to do in the near future. So the fence is uh, in. We couldn't thank you enough guys over b &M Fence. Thank you for doing a great job once again for uh, what you did for us and especially your donation of the barbed wire. So let's take a walk around and um, take a look at the, uh, the fence and uh, see what the finished product looked like. Let's check it out. Well, we sure thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed watching the, our deer fence come up. It is pretty, uh, pretty big milestone here, and we are really excited because we can now grow our vegetables and our orchard and everything we have out here in the, in the uh, garden complex with some peace of mind from the deer. Mm -hmm. So if you like our channel, please subscribe and be a part of our homestead family. And we'll be, until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by his hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube 
and post from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.